Okay, so who can actually practice EFT? And who's it for? So the good news is EFT has been simplified in such a way that pretty much anyone can practice EFT. And that was one of the main goals of Gary Craig when he was testing it and sort of fine tuning EFT in the early 1980s. He was taking more sophisticated, more complex modalities with various algorithms and all this sort of stuff, which required a lot of training. And he found a way, a generic protocol that would be easier to, to teach and easier to practice. And he also found that it gave very similar results to those more sophisticated systems. So that's the beauty of EFT is that we can use this generic protocol and apply it to pretty much anything and get just as good results as potentially more sophisticated modalities in the health and well-being space. So what this means is that you can practice EFT at home on yourself and you can practice as a practitioner and help others go through it. Now you can practice a lot of it. You can do a lot of it yourself at home. Once you know the basic protocol and the basic foundations. However, I'd also mention here is that it can be beneficial to bring a practitioner in when you get stuck or plateau on certain things, because it's very common that you will get to a point in a certain subject or an issue that you need a third person's perspective or an outsider's perspective to be able to look at something in a different angle. And that's when you bring a practitioner in to get that extra support. So most of the stuff you can do on yourself, but every now and then you may need help. Okay. Just to get a different angle on it. So that's the beauty of EFT. Uh, again, to get the most from EFT is that it's really helpful to know the foundations. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, or you're just following along, then you'll still get benefit, but you don't really understand what's going on underneath it. Like what is the step-by-step -step process? And this is what this course is about, you know, really getting those foundations in place. And once you get these foundations in place, then it's really easy to progress much faster um, than just kind of following along and doing random things here and there. So that's who can practice EFT and who is EFT for? EFT is really for anyone who is looking for, again, I call it like a biohacking way to learn how to better re-regulate yourself, re-regulate your emotions, which they are calling emotional intelligence, the ability to feel things, but then, you know, inside yourself, you're able to stabilize yourself. Uh, also, it's for anyone who has found that the other therapies don't really work or they don't really stick. You know, you feel good and then the next day you just back at it, right? You still feel the same patterns again and again. So EFT is really beautiful in that way because it's not just an intellectual process. When we are applying the tapping, it creates a real physical physiological effect. And so we are actually changing in real time, the way that your neurology and the way that your chemistry is set up. So it has a real beautiful mind and body connection through this process. It's not just treating the body and it's not just treating the mind. It's treating both at the same time, which I find gives it a lot more power and effectiveness. So it's for those people out there where other therapies don't seem to work or don't seem to stick are looking for something new. It's also for people that are looking for a way to enhance whatever they're doing, whether it be sports, whether it be uh, business, public speaking, social skills, learning skills, anything. Because when we're tapping, again, we are helping the, the brain and the chemistry upgrade faster than it would have if we didn't apply the tapping in the process. So it's a way to stimulate 
your own neurology, stimulate your chemistry to a higher level of function. So it can be used as a therapeutic uh, modality, you know, treating and clearing things of the past, uh, memories, uh, things like that, that you're still kind of got hang-ups on. That's kind of one space, but it also can be used for more like the future, more like coaching, more like performance enhancement, goal setting, all this type of stuff. It can be used in both worlds, which is what's so beautiful about it. And it's simple. Um, there's You can't even do it wrong as such. You still get some benefit. It's really hard to do wrong. There's no negative side effects. There's no toxic residue. So, you know, it's really worth just experimenting with. If you're new to it, just experiment with it for a while, right? And see how you go. So that's a bit of an intro. Who can practice EFT? Pretty much anyone can practice EFT if you know the foundations. And who's it for? It's for anyone who wants to upgrade and to clear out the past that may be troubling them in some way. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.